Today, the joint sitting of the Armenian Parliament Standing Committees on State and Legal Affairs, Foreign Relations and Protection of Human Rights and Public Affairs was scheduled to be attended also by the members of the Council of Europe Group of Experts on Action Against Violence Against Women and Domestic Violence, Vice President of the Venice Commission and the Head of the Council of Europe's Human Rights and Gender Affairs Office. Amid this, a protest action was held against the Istanbul Convention's ratification outside the Armenian Parliament building and which turned into a march on the Yerevan streets. Leader of the GOMK initiative, Vahagin Chahadian, announced that the protest actions would continue. According to him, tens of thousands of citizens are ready to stand up and carry out disobedience actions in various cities of Armenia. As the participants noted, the Council of Europe representatives have come to Armenia to put pressure on Armenian authorities to adopt the convention. We say there is no need for it until the document has entered into ratification, he added. Protesters were also held in front of the Council of Europe office in Yerevan. We urge the Council of Europe to understand that it might face problems when trying to make Armenia sign international agreements from now on, one of the participants said. Narek Malyan's Pido initiative and activist Narek Samsonian also joined the protest. Malyan stated that the propaganda for the Istanbul Convention is based on lies and falsehood. A joint meeting of Armenia's parliamentary standing committees on during a preliminary discussion of the draft state budget for 2020 continued on Friday. Thus, the Ministry of Labor and Social Affairs is expected to be allocated a little more than 492.5 billion drums. According to Minister of Labor and Social Affairs, compared to 2019, expenses increased by almost 48 billion drums. As Zari Batoyan noted, the state plans to allocate 700 million drums to the families of the fallen national heroes awarded posthumously. Meanwhile, the health minister noted that it is planned to allocate at least 109 billion 14.6 million drums to the healthcare sector of Armenia in 2020 instead of the 89 billion 590 million drums in 2019. According to Arsene Torosian, the health policy will be aimed at maintaining public health, preventing diseases, increasing the availability and quality of medical services, and increasing the birth rate and average life expectancy. Yerevan Zoo Director Ruben Khachadurian has submitted his resignation amid the recent incidents at the zoo when stray dogs devoured three mouflons at the zoo last night. The incident occurred the day after the tragic incident when the dogs ate three kangaroos. His resignation came after Yerevan Vice Mayor Tigran Vrabian had suggested him to resign. The resignations still continue in Armenia. Two directors of national parks have submitted their resignations on Friday. Thus, director of the 7th National Park, Bahe Gulanyan, has submitted his resignation and noted that he wrote a statement for a long time, but so far there has been no move. And RP Lake National Park director and ARF party member, Hofseb Simonian, has also submitted resignation amid health problems.